So this question is a simplify question. We know that because it's short. Simplified questions are usually between one and three lines long. And because it contains an equation, simplified questions will always contain an equation or an expression. So the question here says, what value of x satisfies the equation above? Which means I could go about simplifying this, which is exactly what I'm going to do. But I just want to make note that we could also use a strategy called plug-in answers, right? I could just take each of these values and plug it in for x and see what happens, which one of them ends up making this correct. And maybe if I have time on this video, I'll do both. Let's start off with simplification. So I have square root x plus 28 minus 2 root x plus 1 equals 0. What I would do here is add 2 root x plus 1 to both sides which would lead me to having x plus 28 under the radical equals 2 radical x plus 1. Then I'd square both sides, leaving me with x plus 28 is equal to 4 parentheses x plus 1, which leads to x plus 28 equals 4x plus 4. And I'm going to combine my like terms on the left with the x, so subtract 4x, subtract 4x. Combine my numbers on the right, so minus 28 and minus 28. Give me some more space. So x minus 4x is negative 3x, and 4 minus 28 is negative 24. Divide both sides by negative 3, and you get x equals positive 8, which means the answer is choice A. Now, because I do have time, I'm going to now show you how I would solve this using plug-in answers. I always love when plug-in answer questions end up being choice A. Um, kind of happens more often than you would think. So never be afraid to use the plug-in answer strategy because you're afraid of how long it will take because a lot of times it, is, it ends up being choice A. So how do we use plug-in answers? We just say, well, how do I test answer choice A? Well, answer choice A is telling me that X is equal to 8. So I'm going to test it. So square root, instead of x plus 28, I say 8 plus 28. Minus 2, square root, instead of x plus 1, I say 8 plus 1 is equal to 0. 8 plus 28 is equal to 36, so this becomes radical 36. Minus 2, 8 plus 1 is 9. Square root of 36 is 6, technically plus or minus 6. On this test, we should know, I just want to make sure you're aware, um, whenever the question itself provides a radical, the SAT only wants the positive of the square root, okay? If you are adding in a square root, like if you're saying I need to square root both sides of the equation in order to solve, then you must take into consideration plus or minus. So that's why I'm not saying plus or minus 6 here. The square root of 36 is 6. Minus 2 times the square root of 9 is 3. And 6 minus 2 times 3 is 6, so 6 minus 6 is 0. And that's why answer choice A is correct, right? And none of these other numbers would provide that. So I showed you the simplification method. I've shown you the simplify method. I'm sorry, the plug-in answers method. Um, and as you can see, the plug-in answers probably was a bit faster, much more straightforward as well, as long as you don't make the mistake of plus or minus um, in these cases, which can make it a little bit more complicated.